one of the most annoying occurrences after lagging or high ping is definitely game crashes or full system crashes. Everyone hates them. You're playing a game, having lots of fun, then boom. Your game just closes without anything to say. Or if it does say something, it throws some random error code at you. So now you have to replay whatever wasn't saved or if the game crashes at startup, then you may never get to play the game. Well, in this video, I'm going to help you guys potentially fix your crashing by helping you find more information on them, which will eventually lead to you finding the cause. So without further ado, let's begin. First is game crashes. For this, you would want a crash log. This log normally holds the roots of the issue and can even help you fix your issues alone. The best way to find a crash log for a game is Google. Google almost always has some form where someone is asking the exact same question and someone answers it. If you can't find anything useful on Google, then the best place to look is in the app data. Normally, app data contains the save folder for your game, which also contains crash logs. You can also look on websites like PC Gaming Wiki, which normally contains information on where to find a game's save location. Now, as of the release of this video, I haven't had many crashes, but for the past ones, I've noticed that the crashes don't leave logs anymore, but instead leave dumps, which are fairly similar to logs. The only difference is that dumps leave more precise information that can better help you find the issue. In my case, I went back to a crash I had with Atomic Hearts, and instead of a crash log, I had a crash dump. For these files, you'll need WinDBG. This is the only application that I know of that easily allows you to read these files. Once you have that application, open the dump file, click the blue analyze text, and then you should theoretically get pretty helpful information. For this instance, it specifically gives the error code 0xc00005, which I've dealt with before, which is a memory related issue. For me, it was because of a bad paging file, but for a more extreme case, it could be a bad RAM stick. If you get a different error code, it's best to Google it. There are plenty of forums online like Reddit which could contain information about fixing that specific error code. This is how I figured out the 0xc0005 code, simply by googling it. Next is full system crashes. In this case, you would have always needed to use dump files. Windows always saves a dump of a blue screen of death, and it's pretty easy to find. Simply go to File Explorer, your drive, Windows, then Mini Dump. This folder will contain dump files, which can be used the same way as the last method you will need WinDBG, which can be found in the Microsoft Store. Now in this area, it's pretty locked down. You can't just open a dump file from within this folder. You'll need to copy this file and move it to a less restrictive area like downloads. Once you have that, simply open the file, click the blue analyze text, and then you should get a lot of good information. In my latest cases, I have been getting blue screens of death where the mini dump points towards a driver named Store AHCI, which is a driver used for managing storage devices. In most cases, a mini dump will point towards a driver because most blue screens of death that aren't from overstressing your system are because of a faulty driver. Once you get a mini dump that points at a driver, simply copy and paste the name and paste it into Google. There you should get general information on what that driver even does. Then once you get enough information, you may need to either disable that driver, update it, or even upgrade a faulty component. Next is Event Viewer. You should only use this in the most extreme cases when the dump file isn't helpful. This won't contain information regarding system crashes though. Event Viewer is an application that holds information on any little thing that happens on your PC. Even if it isn't bad enough to crash the entire system, it will still be logged here. Mostly there's just information logs that log miscellaneous information, but if you sort it by level, you'll eventually find error logs. In my case, one of my logs was from a crash while playing Arizona Sunshine Remake. It also gives the code 0x8 00003, which after some research isn't that bad. It mostly means there was an issue regarding the application itself or I was running out of memory. That probably explains why I didn't have any other crashes after that. That was simply a one-time crash, which is fairly normal. Event Viewer is pretty good, but mini dumps are a lot easier to find and read. It feels like a maze just getting to a helpful error log. If none of this stuff works somehow, then it may be time to go the simple route. 
either restart your PC, verify the game files, reinstall the game altogether, or even reinstall Windows. Number two and three can help if the issue is just because of a faulty installation. One and four will help if the issue is because of Windows itself which windows can definitely be a hassle sometimes but most of these methods have completely fixed my crashes and nowadays if i get a system crash or a game crash i know exactly where to look thank you guys for watching if you found this video helpful please make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one